Okay, before anyone, by the way, before anyone asks why I'm in the bathroom, um, long story short, there's still oil in it because apparently the neighbor that took it apart did not, uh, go into the cylinder because, yeah, still plenty of oil. And I cleaned this room yesterday. I did all of this on the other side of it, as you can tell, because there's nothing under there, aside from the uh, flywheel. Um, unless that is, I can't remember. It's been a long time since I've worked on small engines. Um, I did all that yesterday, and, uh, I am taking off this thing and all that. I got all this out in the truck, and uh, let's just put it this way. Two spiders have already been discovered in here. I don't know why they were on the inside, but uh, okay. Okay, so I have officially gotten the engine in half. I uh, haven't actually, like, um, you know, like, opened it and taken the side off and everything. Um, it's just very obviously loose in half. Um, the, uh, axle, whatever the hell it's called. It's been so long since I've done this. Um, the thing that turns the flywheel, I will put it that way. Um, that is, um, still intact and everything. I have not, um, like, the, 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 it, the engine seam where the thing is in half is literally, like, a quarter inch wide right now. Um, it's, it was hard enough to get, um undone it was hard enough to pry open um and uh part of the reason for that if not the reason is because i think it overheated and that was why it wasn't working um the reason i don't know i again i'm gonna have it's gonna have, that's gonna have to wait until i actually open the engine and all that crap which i'm hoping to have it all cleaned out and everything by tonight um which it's still early so that shouldn't be a problem but uh um, part of the, um, gasket, I think it's on the bottom, not on the side of the engine, because the engine is split in half diagonally, um, and it's on, like, a, a lawnmower thing, so, like, um, the diagonal is, the down is, uh, facing where the blades would be, and the up is where the handle would be, um, for the person using it, um, it's a really weird sort of 40 degree angle percent sign sort of thing, um, but part of the um, gasket is totally messed up, and it ain't for me, because I haven't used heat on it. Like, the thing is, like, molded differently. Like, it's been, like, it's 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 messed up in one spot. So I'm uh, very curious to see what it looks like inside the engine, and if we got a burned piston or what the hell the story is, because, um, yeah, it's, uh, it, it's a bit weird. But, uh... Dude, the amount of effort it took me to get that flywheel off and the amount of um, effort it took me to get the engine pried. Oh my god. I'm just glad it actually worked. I was about to give up um, because I don't have the, uh, like, shy of going outside getting an actual crowbar. and Because I was using, like, hand crowbar, like something that's the size of, like, you know, a shoe. I was using one of those things. I was not using, you know, a full-size pry bar or anything. I was one step away from going outside, standing on one end of it, and, uh, or wedging it, and, uh, just ripping it with the crowbar, and let that go flying off, but, uh, didn't have to, so, we'll see what that looks like inside, and if I can, I will show the camera. So, I have, uh, finished taking apart the engine, and fortunately, I had to battle with the crankshaft, and, uh, all that, and get the, um, entire piston out. The uh, current case is clean, um, nothing wrong with that. The uh, piston is not. The piston's um, smoked, so um, because we don't have a use for the mower or anything through the winter anyways, let alone, um, you know, um, you know, rebuilding it, getting replacement parts and the money involved in that, however much it would be, because all I th believe that um, I need to fix it is a new crankcase gasket and a new piston. Um, everything else is fine aside from needing cleaning up and all that. Um, but uh, the uh, I'm gonna be cleaning it up and um, putting. I'm gonna likely be putting the entire engine back together, but um, dry and everything, and just taping the bag of um, bolts and stuff to it, saying um, needs needs piston and gasket and uh 
leave it that because we don't need it and it's also a vertical engine it's not a horizontal one um because it's for gas mower um so that adds another level of complication to that one i i am not out of um ideas for um things to use it for if it doesn't go back in the mower or anything and yeah sure the mower could go back together and everything it would take some time but um i could do it it's just not necessary right now and um honestly it takes up less space when it's in pieces um just because of how the thing is designed and how it's meant to be moved around so um like it's quite shocking actually how much easier it is to have around when it's not in one piece by a long shot so tonight's gonna be clean up and uh i am dealing with um my own version of strep because i uh did something stupid and it. it's it's not like biological strep like i gave this to myself like it's strep in the sense of what it is but it's not strep in the sense of i caught it from someone or something so um yeah i'm dealing with that one um also means i'm not going outside because i can't breathe cold air in at all which is actually how i got it in the first place um and my knees busted um i packed it this morning and um nothing changed the swelling went away um, my, my knee had a nice mountain top on top of it, but, uh, the, um, everything else is the same and I can barely walk on it. So I'll leave it there. And, uh, that's for, I guess the end of part two, because I don't think there is a part three. Um, so yeah, that's, that, that's the funny bits. <laughs>